Okay, so today I'm going to teach you how to draw this cute little French bulldog in the app Procreate. So let me get out of this and into my demo canvas. And just for time's sake, I've gone ahead and made a sketch already. And we'll go into our palette, or layers. And if you're new to Procreate, there's a lot of... um beginners videos out there just to get a good start and this is a um, pretty basic demo that we're going to be doing uh, right now okay so I've gone ahead and labeled all my layers and backgrounds white so to start oh, so yeah if you're following along you can pause this and go ahead and add all of these layers and to label them you just click on this rename right there all right so I'm going to show you the basic shapes and I like to sketch with a 6B pencil. It works really well and we've got the color red. All right, let's start. Of course, we're going to start with some basic circles. Circle for the head. And then the body also, no, medium sized circle. It's pretty good. We'll move on to the feet. Little round circles. And this just initial stage is basic shape, so you can connect with some simple lines. circle for the back foot oh um the back of his body almost like a half or the top part of an egg shape yeah that should do it let's add his muzzle and french bulldogs have pretty big muzzles so I'll do a nice medium circle. And the ears are kind of like tortilla chips, I'd say. That's what they remind me of. Just like cat ears, kind of. All right. We can indicate where the eyes will be. Just kind of right above the muzzle and the nose. A little oval oh and if you don't know uh, two fingers tapped on the screen will erase what you did three fingers will redo what you did and procreate okay so let me hide my sketch layer and kind of just show you this should this is what you should have right now just really basic simple shapes and that's honestly all you need for a good foundation for the rest of this drawing so let's move on to and i'm going to lower the opacity just so we can see more clearly move on to drawing and we'll stick with the 6b i'll just change the color to like a dark gray a nice sketching color all right and let's just see if the pencil is um oops let me unhide that layer okay let's see if the pencil is a size that we like maybe a little bit smaller Okay, so let's get started with the face. Just And this you can keep pretty sketchy, still loose, have fun with it, doesn't have to be perfect. Let's go around our basic shapes. And this stage, you're really going to start to add 
some anatomy and some details, all the fun stuff. And to come up with this sketch, I didn't just like copy one image of a French bulldog. I kind of looked at a bunch of pictures of French bulldogs, got a good feel for how their body structures are. And that's a good idea when you're drawing anything to look at some reference photos or even better, um, look at like animals or objects in real life. eyebrows. I can start to add some detail on the face. We'll do some nice ovals for the eyes. A little C-shape around the back of the eye. And we can color these in too. Okay. Move on to the nose. Again, we should already, we already have our like oval shape. And if you're following along with pencil and paper, um, just as long as you kept like what we were drawing with the red lines really light, they should be easy when you're done with the sketch to erase afterwards. Big smile. All right, now I can add where his neck connects to the shoulders. His arms. way down to the feet and kind of nice rounded flat paws and kind of curve it up to the body his chest can add a little tuft of fur this is where his collarbone will be all right and then this paw, their paws are pretty wide and flat. Um, so we'll just try to stick with that. All right, great. Move on to the back of the arm. All right, now for the back part of the body, we'll just follow it down and around. Oh, let's add in his belly. Little back paws. I always like to add the heel in there. Like we could just make this straight and that would be easy, but adding a heel just adds so much, I don't know, I think to the gesture, body language. And let's add this back leg too. All right. Oh, let's not forget um, the top of his muzzle and the sides. Little whisker marks. And oh, these little lines under the eyes just make him look a little bit more happy. All right, so this is our sketch or drawing. You can finesse this as much as you want. You can add details, take them away. If you want to, um, if you're doing pencil and paper, you can erase where the red lines, the basic shapes were a little bit. You don't have to erase them completely, but maybe the parts that are on the face would be good. 
All right, so now we can move on to filling him with color. And I'm going to go ahead and hide the red circles. And since I already have my sketch that I kind of finessed and worked on, I'm going to hide this drawing that we just did and keep my sketch pulled up. Just make it a little bit darker. All right, okay, so let's move down to the fill. And I like to do this with, I'm going to drawing Blackburn. This is a really good one to fill. And I've already got the color pre-picked right under here um, in my palette. All right. So for filling in the color, you're just going to go ahead and trace around your sketch lines. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. But just make sure that it there all the lines are touching. I'll show you in a minute why. Okay, so I've gone ahead and traced around his whole body. Now we're going to go to this little color, grab it, and oh, <laughs> if it stays the right color. Okay, we're going to grab it and drag it onto the dog, and it should, if all the lines are connected properly, he'll turn, his whole body will fill in. Then you can go ahead and if you see little marks that aren't filled in all the way, you can fill them in. But I mean, you don't have to. It's actually kind of a nice look to have some white spots showing. All right. So now let's go into our layers and add some lines next. Click on lines. And these since this is a nice like sketchy feel we're going for can be with 6b again and a little bit darker we want it to be a little bit darker than his body color just so that it stands out um let's see that's actually a pretty good size let me darken it a little more. Okay. So now we'll zoom in. I'm just um, still pretty loose and sketchy. And again, you don't have to do these dark lines. That actually might be a little too dark. You can just lower the opacity. If you like the color, but you want it to be a little bit lighter, more sketchy and loose, lower the opacity. All right. So this is just for details. Gives it a little more oomph, I suppose. And you don't have to do these everywhere, just kind of in the areas that you just want emphasized. Look at the chin, this nice uh, shoulder here, I feel like looks like it should be a little bold. Maybe the little paw pads, or I guess toes, you should say. And yeah, let's define the feet. Just a little bit more. And it's still like nice, light, sketchy. Nothing too crazy. I 
I'm sorry if this, if this video is going a little bit longer. I'm trying to make it not too long. Detail the toes. Oh, if you have a French Bulldog, you should comment that below. I have a Greyhound, and he's awesome, but anything I see, like, Greyhound-related, I love, you know, saying, ooh, I have a Greyhound, too. All right. Um... Oh, definitely the mouth. That should be defined and his facial features. And definitely his nose. All right. Oh, let me darken this and thicken it for the eyebrows. That might be a little bit too dark. It can be pretty sketchy. It doesn't have to be precise. All right. And now let's add in his eyes. I like to use for this in the inking... Here it is, Baskerville. It's a really good one. And let's get this like dark color. And just make a nice little oval. Let me make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so I added the two oval shapes for the eyes, and I went and defined a few more spots like around the eyes, around the muzzle. Um, but let's go into our fill layer again, and we can, um, yeah, we can stick with Baskerville. And let's add the whites of the eyes, which actually aren't going to be completely white. They're more of like a light blue. Okay. Let's fill that in. Do the same thing on the other side. Maybe a little bit bigger on this side. All right, that's looking pretty good. And while we're here, we can also, um, Add like a little bit darker gray for the nose, but we can use six B should be good for that. Maybe a little bit darker. Okay. Let me just go back to lines. I just want to darken around his nostrils a little bit.
All right. Now let's go into our layers. We're going to click on the fill layer and then we'll add, click on this layer and click on clipping mask. That way the colors will stay within our French Bulldog. Okay, so this is where we can really have fun. Oh, let's change our pencil to, um, let's see. Okay, so I picked this pink color. We're going to add just the pink inside the ears. And I went ahead and just picked Blackburn. This doesn't have to be perfect. Let's go ahead and do the other ear. It's a nice light pink color. And then we're going to click on our blending tool. And I just set it to a uh, carbon stick. I'll go ahead and blend it out around the edges. It really gives it this nice, like, faded look. Kind of blends the gray with the pink. Looks really nice. Good. Now let's add some white for just some patterns on his body. Um, I'm going to go to charcoal, carbon stick. I have this white. Make this a little bit bigger. And the nice thing about clipping masks is even if you go outside of the lines, it keeps it all within your shape. All right. And I think we'll have like a little patch in the middle of his eyes. All right. And that's, a, that's looking really good. All right. So we're ready to do the final touches on him. I know this video is running a little long. That's all right. So let's go to airbrushing and soft blend. Make sure, yeah, we're on our clipping mask layer above the fill. And let's add the shadows first. So we're gonna pick the body color and let's just darken it a little bit. And we can go ahead and add just some, some shadows where we think they'd be shadows. So there'll definitely be some shadows under his mouth. And underneath here. looking good that be probably a little shadow here where his neck meets and here on his arm anywhere that like a body part touches like in between the arms I usually like to add shadows this back leg would be in the shadow and add a little bit here and this is where it gets really fun. Like all these little detail-y things. Oh, I just love. 
All right, and it's nice to add some shadowing just around the eyes. And we can go ahead and um, erase a little bit of on the inside of the whites of the eyes. Anyways, back to darken this up for the nose. Oops. That's actually really light. So let me just pick the color from the nose, make it a little bit darker. Go with that. Nice. And if you want, oh wait, let me just add a little shadow underneath the um, chin. Great, and we can go ahead and blend some of those out. Just a little, nothing crazy. Just so it's not such harsh lines for the shadows. All right, and on the same layer, we can add some, so we're still on our clipping mask layer. We can add some highlights. Those are fun too. So we'll pick the color and that you just hold down and let's now lighten it a little bit. A little bit bigger. It's a nice little highlight, maybe on the top of his head, tips of the ear. Maybe a little more on the body. Great. And we can also blend this out a little bit. All right, final details that I like to add and will be done. I like to add a shadow and I forgot to delete it. So let me just clear this and I'll show you how it's done. We can keep our um, soft blend brush. Pick the color of the dog. We'll darken it a little bit. I go ahead and just add a little shadow under him. Easy as that. I also like to add the eye glimmers, as I like to call them. Okay, so um, inking, Baskerville, or actually airbrush. Um, medium hard blend is a good one. And we can do like a white color. Let's zoom into the eyes. A bit too big. That's super cute. All right, so this sums up our little bull, uh, French bulldog. I think he turned out really cute. Um, and you can, if you want to add more details or leave it as is, that's fine with yours. Um, but all right, if you enjoyed this video, got some helpful tips, um, and want to see more um, how to draw videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and like this video because that would help out a lot. But thanks for watching. Until next time.